it's time for my summer book recommendations. Here are five books I really enjoyed reading. The Lincoln Highway by Amor Towles. Oh, Amor Towles is good. I'd rank Gentleman in Moscow the highest, but this is still a very good book. The characters are all pretty interesting. That's the heart and soul of his book. It's sort of a tale of morality that you need to watch what you do and be careful out there. There's definitely a sense that the world's kind of a dangerous and unpredictable place. The end has a lot of twists and turns. Why did this happen? Why did this guy behave this way? And he is kind of excitingly fantastical. And by the end, you understand those characters. Why We're Polarized by Ezra Klein. Well, sadly, I have to say that literally until I read this book, I kept thinking, we're just not making our arguments carefully enough. This book aligned so many things about open-mindedness and therefore liking the past versus the present and thinking of immigrations as kind of threatening. It's good to be reminded of how messed up things were particularly with respect to race in the past. His framework explains a broader set of things than any other framework I'd seen, but it's kind of daunting even though it's clarifying. I feel like I have more understanding of what's gone on and that it'll help me predict things better. The Ministry for the Future, Kim Stanley Robinson. It's a wild book because it has everything. The way that it pushes socialistic solutions or organic farming or this carbon coin thing, those are not real solutions. But, you know, the idea of the incredible unrest and how you go backwards if you don't get on top of this thing and that you should be thinking about the people born in the future and what the world's going to be like for them. It's got some amazing stuff in it. How the World Really Works by Voslav Smil. It's quite a readable book and explains the physical economy. It's such important knowledge. You know, wow, there's a lot of cement making. There's a lot of steel making. These are very optimized processes that allow us to you know, have roads and buildings and stay out of the weather. And he doesn't go so far back in history that it feels obscure. And it's a very foundational piece of work to understand why climate change is so hard to solve. Because even once you have innovations, scaling them out to replace all the physical economy is so difficult. And if it's more expensive, that will feel like, hey, living standards are going down instead of going up. How the World Really Works is a profound book. The Power by Naomi Alderman. Well, The Power is very provocative. It imagines a world where women end up being able to use electricity as a weapon, and it changes the gender balance of power so dramatically that, you know, you meet people like you know, Margot, Ali, Roxy, you know, they were all pretty tough. Ali, who becomes Mother Eve, and has a religious uh, slant and develops a big following. You know, it's, it's certainly a troubling vision, but I think it's part of getting people thinking about gender imbalances. You know, I think it's a powerful story. I hope you try these books. I really enjoyed them. 